So, I've been asked a few times, uh, how much power do these 3D printers draw? And uh, to explain that, <clears throat> they're not constantly drawing the same amount of power. So, the heat bed and the nozzle are the most energy draining part of the printer. If you just have the screen, the electric fans running, um, it's not moving very much power at all. So right now we've got three printers running. I've got, let's see, three, no, four. I've got four printers hooked up to this little battery backup here. And if we click on the display, we'll see the ampage pulled. So we're at three amps. This is on a 20 amp fuse. Now it's also paired with all these other ones, but four printers looks like if they're all heating at the same time, uh, which will occasionally happen, they'll you'll be at max load. But we can see averaging around one, two, there's three. I think I did see it peak at four or five. Um, so if you had let's say four and they peak at five and you're putting it on a 20 a 20 amp yeah see five two five four five seven um, so ideally you want to have less than what would that be 16 printers on uh, on 120 amp so I've got what four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so I got 14 printers on 120 amp that's probably about the max that I would want to uh, to put on 120 amp fuse. If I had all these on a 15 amp, um, I probably would have already popped it by now. So um, if you're curious about a farm and setting up a farm and what your electricity needs to be, you know, if your garage only has 20 amp, you could probably support 12 of these little king runes. Um, some of the other printers will definitely draw more. I didn't uh, I didn't put up a lot of uh, I don't have readers on all of my printers right now, but uh, yeah, on this one you can see we're peaking out at about five, six. It's only there briefly, so if it if it briefly touches the max, it probably isn't going to pop the uh, the fuse. The fuse is only going to pop um, from sustained uh, use at, at that amperage above it. So if you're at 15, 16, you know it spikes at 19, maybe 20. You, you know you'll probably be uh, you'll probably be okay. Um, but the uh, yeah, so as far as running a farm, um, you just need to plan for that. When I first set up my farm in, in my garage, I added over 100 amps. Right now, here in the uh, in the maker space, I have access to about 60 amps. Um, so that's what I'm running everything on. So if you're curious, you know, what does it take to run what Michael has right here, including the big printer and a couple laser engravers, it's at least 60 amps. Um, I would probably recommend 80 to 100 um, if you're wanting to expand further than what I have now. But uh, that's just a good idea of how much electricity while they're running some of these uh, printers will use.